focus on your breath. And as for whatever else there is, just let it go, let it go. A lot of things we have to endure in this world. And the two main ones that the Buddha focuses on are harsh words and unpleasant physical sensations. His recommendation for dealing with harsh words is to not personalize them, in other words, depersonalize them. A sound makes contact at the ear and already we've got a story ready for it. And it's that story that actually causes us a lot of trouble. The voice that says, I can't stand this, I can't stand this, that's actually what you can't stand. So you learn, have to learn how to depersonalize it, even when someone is particularly saying something they mean to be nasty to you, don't let the, your mind personalize it. Let that just be their karma. Remember, that is their karma, not yours. You just watch it go past, go past, go past. And the same thing with physical sensations. We're going to have a heat wave this week. It's going to be hotter than normal. And if you personalize the heat, it's going to become oppressive. You know, find a cool place to stay. Relatively cool. And then as the heat builds up in the air around the body, remember it's there in the air around the body. Some of it will seep into the body itself. And this is why you drink a lot of water and make sure you get a lot of salt and other things to make you don't get dehydrated. And then you look at that voice. This is why is this heat wave happening to me? And you remember about the times last winter when you wanted warmth. Well now you've got the warmth. And there are heat waves going on in the world that are a lot worse than this right now. And so it's not like somebody is out there trying to make you suffer. Or even if they are trying to make you suffer, you don't have to pay, play along with them. You play along with them when you start personalizing things and make it unbearable. So find what you can bear inside. Make sure the breath is comfortable. There's cool parts in the body that are cooler than other parts, so focus on those. Emphasize the coolness inside. Approach this as a as a problem that's not personal. That way it's a lot easier to figure out a solution. Once you personalize things, then you're going to suffer. Personalize the pain. You don't have to personalize it. You don't have to say, this is me, this is mine. It's just there. It's unpleasant, but it can be just there and not get spun out into elaborate narratives that you then use to stab yourself. So remember, it's the mind's chatter. That's, that's a lot of the suffering right there. So learn how to keep the chatter to a minimum and keep it on topic. You're going to stay with the breath. You're not going to get involved in stories about the heat or stories about the other people around you. You don't have to play along with the world in making you suffer. The world, of course, doesn't intend to make you suffer with its heat. That's just the way the world is. If there were no heat in the world, we'd all die. And the way the weather system is, if there's going to be heat here, that's going to be good someplace else. There are times when it's really good here and other people are suffering someplace else from the heat or the cold. Too much rain, too little rain, whatever. So just see this as something that's passing. It's going to do its heat thing and then it's going to cool down. But you don't have to make it personal. And that way you find it a lot easier to bear.